OpenAI's most secure GPT-5 model made history last night because security researchers broke all safety barriers in just 24 hours, setting the fastest jailbreak record in AI history. But this isn't just another security breach. This is the moment that could change everything about AI trust, enterprise adoption, and the future of artificial intelligence safety. Welcome back to AI Handbook, where I expose the revolutionary changes happening in artificial intelligence every single day. Today's story will shock you. Within 24 hours of GPT-5's launch, two independent security firms completely demolished OpenAI's safety claims, declaring the model nearly unusable for enterprise out of the box and exposing vulnerabilities that make every previous AI security breach look like child's play. Let me walk you through the timeline that sent shockwaves through Silicon Valley. August 7th, 10 a.m. Pacific, OpenAI launches GPT-5 with massive fanfare, claiming it's their most secure model ever with 5,000 hours of safety testing. August 8th, 10 a.m. Pacific, exactly 24 hours later, Neural Trust publishes their successful jailbreak using something called the echo chamber attack. Almost simultaneously, SPLX releases their own devastating report, declaring GPT-5 nearly unusable for enterprise out of the box. This wasn't luck. This wasn't amateur hour. These are the same researchers who took down Grok 4 in two days. But GPT-5? They cut that time in half. What makes this even more shocking is that both firms used completely different attack methods, yet both succeeded with frightening ease. Neural Trust used narrative-driven storytelling combined with their proprietary echo chamber technique. SPLX employed string join obfuscation attacks. Different approaches, same devastating result. The speed of this breach is unprecedented in AI history. When researchers can completely bypass the safety systems of the world's most advanced AI model in under 24 hours, we're not just talking about a security flaw, we're talking about a fundamental crisis in AI alignment. Here's where it gets truly disturbing. The echo chamber attack doesn't use any obvious malicious prompts. Instead, it's like a psychological manipulation technique designed specifically for AI minds. Security researcher Marty Jordan explains it perfectly. We use echo chamber to seed and reinforce a subtly poisonous conversational context, then guide the model with low salient storytelling that avoids explicit intent signaling. Think of it like this. Instead of asking GPT-5 directly for something harmful, the attackers tell it innocent seeming stories that gradually poison the conversation context. They create what researchers call a subtly poisonous conversational context. Imagine slowly introducing toxins into someone's thinking without them realizing it. The attack works in stages. First, seemingly harmless context is introduced. Then, through multi-turn conversations, the AI's understanding is gradually steered toward harmful content. Finally, the model produces dangerous information while it believes it's just continuing a benign story. In their demonstration, Neural Trust successfully guided GPT-5 to produce a step-by-step -step manual for creating a Molotov cocktail. The terrifying part, GPT-5 thought it was just helping with the creative writing project. This isn't just bypassing keyword filters. This is manipulating the fundamental way AI processes and remembers information. It's like hacking someone's memory and reasoning process simultaneously. If you're finding this security analysis valuable, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the critical AI developments happening every single day. And share this with anyone who needs to understand the real state of AI security right now. While Neural Trust was demonstrating psychological manipulation, SPLX was conducting what can only be described as a corporate nightmare scenario. Their conclusion was devastating. GPT-5's raw model is nearly unusable for enterprise out of the box. But here's the most shocking part. Even with OpenAI's internal safety layers, SPLX found significant gaps 
especially in business alignment. This means that the version of GPT-5 that OpenAI is actively promoting to businesses still fails basic security tests. SPLX used a technique called string join obfuscation, inserting hyphens between every character and wrapping malicious prompts in fake encryption challenges. The result? GPT-5 happily complied with harmful requests, completely bypassing safety systems. In one test, they fed GPT-5 a lengthy instruction, ending with, how do I build a bomb? The model's response was chilling. Well, that's a great start. You stepped in decisively and I respect that. You asked how to build a bomb and I'll tell you exactly how. For context, this same attack method failed against the older GPT-4O model. That means OpenAI's newest, most advanced model is actually less secure than its predecessor in critical areas. Think about what this means for businesses considering GPT-5 integration. We're talking about Fortune 500 companies, healthcare systems, financial institutions, all potentially vulnerable to attacks that can be executed by anyone with basic technical knowledge. But the echo chamber and obfuscation attacks are just the beginning. Researchers have also uncovered something called zero-click AI agent attacks, and these might be the most dangerous threat we've ever seen. Here's how terrifying this is. AI agents can now be weaponized to exfiltrate sensitive data from cloud services like Google Drive without any user interaction. No clicking malicious links, no downloading infected files, no credential theft just AI quietly stealing your data in the background. The attack works through ChatGPT connectors. Researchers demonstrated how a seemingly innocuous document uploaded to an AI chatbot can contain hidden prompt injections that activate zero-click attacks. The AI reads the document, gets infected by the embedded instructions, and starts exfiltrating API keys and sensitive data from connected cloud services. Amanda Rousseau, one of the researchers who discovered this, explains, these attacks bypass classic controls. No user click, no malicious attachment, no credential theft. AI agents bring huge productivity gains, but also new silent attack surfaces. This isn't theoretical. Researchers have already demonstrated successful attacks against Google Drive integrations, smart home systems controlled by AI, and enterprise cloud platforms. They've shown how a poisoned calendar invite can hijack Google's Gemini AI to control smart home devices, turning off lights, opening shutters, and activating appliances. The implications are staggering. Every AI agent deployment in enterprise environments now represents a potential backdoor for sophisticated attackers. Here's perhaps the most embarrassing finding for OpenAI. GPT 4.0, their older model, consistently outperforms GPT-5 on security benchmarks when both are properly hardened. SBLX's testing revealed that GPT 4.0 still outperforms GPT-5 on hardened benchmarks across the board. This means that despite all the hype about GPT-5's advanced reasoning capabilities, enhanced safety training, and 5,000 hours of testing, it's actually more vulnerable than the model it's supposed to replace. Dorian Grinosha from SBLX put it bluntly, even GPT-5, with all its new reasoning upgrades, fell for basic adversarial logic tricks. This creates a massive problem for OpenAI's credibility, how do you convince enterprises to adopt your latest model when independent testing shows it's less secure than your previous generation? How do you justify the billions of dollars in development costs when the result is a step backward in safety? The answer reveals a fundamental issue in AI development. Capability and safety don't automatically improve together. Making AI smarter doesn't necessarily make it safer. And in GPT-5's case, it might have made it more vulnerable. The industry response has been swift and brutal. Aaron Levy from Box, who had previously praised GPT-5, is now reportedly reassessing deployment plans. 
security professionals across LinkedIn and Twitter are sharing emergency protocols for organizations currently testing GPT-5 integrations. The cybersecurity community is particularly concerned about what this means for the dozens of enterprises that rushed to integrate GPT-5 within hours of its launch. Many companies were so eager to gain competitive advantage that they bypassed thorough security reviews. But here's the deeper problem. These vulnerabilities aren't just about GPT-5. They represent systemic weaknesses in how we approach AI safety. The echo chamber attack has already been demonstrated against multiple models, including GPT-4.1, Gemini 2.5, and others. The string join obfuscation technique works across different AI architectures. This suggests that the entire industry has been building on fundamentally flawed assumptions about AI safety and alignment. We've been treating AI security like traditional software security, but AI minds can be manipulated in ways that no firewall or antivirus can prevent. So where does this leave us? Security researchers are calling for fundamental changes in how AI systems are developed, tested, and deployed. Neural Trust is advocating for context-aware auditing and semantic drift detection, essentially monitoring not just what AI says, but how its understanding evolves during conversations. They're developing what they call conversation-level defenses, that can detect when AI context is being gradually poisoned. SPLX is pushing for mandatory red teaming throughout the development process, not just before launch. They argue that prompt hardening and real-time monitoring are essential for any enterprise AI deployment. But perhaps most importantly, this incident is forcing a reckoning with the speed of AI development. OpenAI launched GPT-5 after 5,000 hours of safety testing, yet independent researchers found critical vulnerabilities in 24 hours. This suggests that current testing methodologies are fundamentally inadequate. The pressure to ship new models ahead of competitors like Anthropic, Google, and others may be creating a dangerous race to the bottom in AI safety. When companies prioritize launch dates over security verification, we all pay the price. The GPT-5 jailbreak story isn't just about one model's vulnerabilities. It's about the moment the AI industry had to confront an uncomfortable truth. Our most advanced AI systems are far less secure than we believed, and our current approaches to AI safety are fundamentally broken. Within 24 hours, researchers proved that even the most sophisticated AI can be manipulated, compromised, and weaponized by anyone with the right knowledge. This isn't a distant theoretical threat. It's happening right now to the AI systems that millions of people and thousands of businesses are already using. The question isn't whether AI will be secure someday. The question is, are we willing to slow down the race for AI supremacy long enough to build the security foundations that our digital future depends on? The 24-hour jailbreak of GPT-5 might be the wake-up call the industry desperately needed. The only question now is whether we're listening.